FOMO, and consumerism, the need to have it all. In today's consumer-driven society, the fear of missing out, FOMO has found fertile ground in the world of material possessions. The relentless pressure to keep up with the latest trends, gadgets, and lifestyle choices has transformed FOMO into a powerful force behind consumerism. We are constantly bombarded with advertisements, social media posts, and influencers showcasing the newest products, all promising to enhance our lives and elevate our status. But in the pursuit of having it all, are we losing sight of what truly matters? The cycle of desire, consumerism thrives on FOMO. Marketers have mastered the art of creating a sense of urgency and scarcity, convincing us that if we don't act now, we'll miss out on something essential. Whether it's the latest technology, streaming services, fashion trends, or luxury items, the message is clear. Without these things, we are somehow incomplete. This cycle of desire is endless no matter how much we acquire. There's always something new, something better, something we must have to stay relevant or feel satisfied. This constant pursuit of material possessions can lead to a deep sense of dissatisfaction. The excitement of acquiring something new quickly fades, replaced by the need for the next best thing. We find ourselves in a never-ending race to accumulate more, often at the expense of our financial well-being, mental health, and overall happiness. The illusion of happiness. Consumer culture perpetuates the illusion that happiness and fulfillment can be bought. We are led to believe that owning the right products will make us more attractive, successful, or content. But the truth is, material possessions can only provide temporary pleasure. True happiness comes from within, from our relationships, experiences, and sense of purpose, none of which can be found in a shopping cart. The danger of FOMO-driven consumerism is that it distracts us from these more meaningful sources of joy. We become so focused on acquiring things that we forget to nurture our connections with others, invest in our personal growth, or simply enjoy the present moment. In the end, the need to have it all leaves us feeling emptier than before. The financial and environmental costs, beyond the emotional toll, FOMO-fueled consumerism also has significant financial and environmental consequences. The pressure to constantly buy new things can lead to debt, financial stress, and a lack of savings for the future. We may find ourselves living beyond our means, all in the name of keeping up with trends or satisfying short-term desires. On a larger scale, the demand for more goods contributes to environmental degradation. The production, transportation, and disposal of consumer goods generate massive amounts of waste, pollution, and resource depletion. Our collective desire to have it all is taking a serious toll on the planet, threatening the well-being of future generations. The power of mindful consumption. To break free from the cycle of FOMO-driven consumerism, we need to embrace the concept of mindful consumption. This involves being intentional about what we buy, why we buy it, and how it aligns with our values and needs. Instead of succumbing to the pressure to have it all, we can choose to focus on what truly adds value to our lives. Mindful consumption encourages us to prioritize quality over quantity, to invest in things that bring lasting satisfaction rather than fleeting pleasure. It's about making choices that are not only good for us, but also for the environment and society as a whole. By practicing mindfulness in our consumption habits, we can find contentment with less and reduce the impact of our actions on the world around us. Finding fulfillment beyond material possessions. One of the most effective ways to combat FOMO in consumerism is to shift our focus from material possessions to experiences, relationships, and personal growth. These are the things that truly enrich our lives and bring lasting happiness. Instead of chasing the latest trends, we can invest our time and energy in activities that nurture our well-being, foster connections with others, and contribute to our sense of purpose. Gratitude is another powerful tool in this process. 
By cultivating a sense of gratitude for what we already have, we can diminish the allure of what we don't. When we appreciate the abundance in our lives, whether it's the love of family and friends, the beauty of nature, or the simple pleasures of daily life, we're less likely to be swayed by the constant push to acquire more. Conclusion FOMO and consumerism are deeply intertwined driving us to seek fulfillment in material possessions that often leave us wanting more. But by embracing mindful consumption and focusing on the things that truly matter, we can break free from the need to have it all. True happiness doesn't come from owning the latest gadgets or following the latest trends it comes from within, from living a life aligned with our values and finding contentment in the present moment. In the end, less really can be more. The background music is from Defomo, Stunning Music, Stunning Nature, Fighting Anxiety. You can find it in my YouTube channel. My name is Weeping Kai. Thanks for watching.